Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My plan today is to tell you about my retightening experience with three different tools. I use three different tools to retighten my hair. And I hope to never have to do that again. One of the first tools that I used was the Easy Lock tool. This tool. This Easy Lock tool was not very easy for me. One of the things that I did like about the tool, it was pretty easy for me to thread my hair through the hole. I like the feel of it. It's really light. It's plastic. The only issue that I had with this tool was that as I was retightening, I had to make sure that the curved bottom edge was next to my scalp. So that meant that I had to go in this way. It took a whole lot of thought. A whole lot of thought. And I had to already think about the numbers in my head for the direction in which I should go as I was retightening from 9 to 3 from 6 to 12 from 3 to 9 and 12 to 6 The next tool that I used was one that was pretty much created by my husband. This was a yarn needle. I had decided that the first tool, the Easy Lock tool, was a little bit too long for me. And of course, so was this tool. So I asked my husband if there was any way that he could shorten it. And he did. And he shortened it to this length. I had no issues using this tool. The hole was wide enough for me to thread my hair. This was a great material. It was easy to hold. I could hold it in my hands very easily. So this is my second tool. And I pretty much did the front of my hair mostly with this tool. It took me an hour and a half to do my one third side. tool. It's the nappy lock tool. It's the nappy lock tool. This is how the tool look. It was also very easy to use. It was less easy to thread my hair with this tool than it was with the homemade tool where my husband widened the hole and also shortened the length. I did most of the back of my hair with this tool and the reason why I stuck with this tool was because the length was perfect. It was it was more unlikely that I would combine a lot with this tool because of the this end being shorter and not reaching over to a second lock. It was better for the back of my hair. If I had to choose a tool or make a decision about a tool, I would put this tool down. I would ask my husband to shorten this tool and this is the tool that I would use. 
this tool cost me about six dollars the one that my husband made that I've sat down and right now the husband the one that my husband made there was four in the pack and it cost a dollar and 47 cents this nappy lock tool because I ordered this tool before my husband made the second tool I had already ordered this tool but I didn't want to stop working on my hair this cool tool cost me about twenty four dollars yeah I could get twelve of what my husband made for this tool and I prefer what my husband made because I know that he can make it shorter he can make it the same length and if he makes it this same length and I ever have to retighten my hair again that is the tool that I would use the one made by my husband or altered by my husband number three this came in as number two this came in as number one because I know it can be shortened to the length of the nappy lock tool and the width of the hold is perfect for me and that's my review on these three interlocking tools thank you